Uh, dearest beloved divine friends and family, brothers and sisters in Guyana, the diaspora, the Caribbean, around the world. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, in the raw, uh, just uh, landed home from work and office, and I need to read this letter, this letter which is published in, the, today, in, in, in today's uh, Guyana Chronicle of the 2nd of October, uh, 2020. Letter written by me, and as a guidance to people who are going to get themselves into trouble, and many of them will, because of political uh, leaders manipulating them, putting themselves in trouble. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, I always find it interesting how decent, good citizens would put themselves in trouble, and sometimes many of them also who are not educated and who are just wild and maniac supporters of a political entity, would put themselves in trouble for their leaders who are safe and well hidden and protected, but they will send message out, messages out to misbehave and to cause confusion and pain for people. It's a very disturbing thing to my opinion, and I know that no political leaders, nobody anywhere can do that to me. They can never cause that to me, and I will never put myself in trouble for any political entity or leader. They're not worth it. They want power. They want to drink and to eat and to travel and to fatten at our expenses, and then put us to whole locations, to whole situations, to be in um, embarrassing uh, situations, to get charged, to get locked up, to get a, co a criminal record placed against us placed against us and um, put us in unnecessary trouble. And this is the, the problem with some political people. And Guyanese will follow those people to do stupidities and commit atrocities while those guys are doing and enjoying them life and hidden in their nice palaces. Uh, so this is what was published in today's uh, uh, Chronicle Friends and Families. It will be in YouTube, RK's Guyana Free Media. Facebook, RK's Guy in the Free Media, and Watch Party, of course, tonight. Um, dear Editor, uh, public servants misguided Guyanese need to stop following corrupt political orders. And this is written by yours truly. I find it astounding and painful how some average Guyanese and even some of the supposedly most intelligent and qualified uh, will put themselves in trouble because of their love for a political party and their faith in certain ambitious and egotistical political leaders and if I might add even maniacs. It is what is most disturbing to add how certain politicians inconvenience workers, employees and others by placing them in conditions that may become dangerous to life or cause injury or even imprisonment with a criminal record. With this said, I would like to address the following, ladies and gentlemen. So please pay your attention. At present, we have seen how certain uh, politicians under the Evil Eyes Directive remain hidden with other senior clandestine operatives to shield themselves, but will use lower-level political instruments, that means persons, to disaffect the nation and mislead poor and good citizens. This is apparent in the unfolding of events that have taken our nation by storm, which almost created civil war and a commentary, as we saw in the west coast of Babis, whereby a political leader went and said, your response is right. And I think the police are looking at that for criminal charges, of possible capital charges for murder, and so on, because people died because of those words. Um, and then smartly trying to say, oh, it's not an Indian or an African thing. But we know people of one particular ethnicity were slaughtered, chopped, murdered, beaten, raped, robbed, burnt, vehicles burnt, how houses burnt, businesses burnt, arson, um, pe people were raped, young ladies were raped and beaten and uh, nastily felt up and so on. And we know it happened to a particular community which sadly is shameful 
and even disgraceful if you are to ask me, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and families, brothers and sisters. Back to the article. With reference to the aforementioned, the most recent is the protest by the nurses. Please allow me to pen my thoughts on these nurses. Nurses like teachers and other public servants are vital service providers for the citizens of the country whose salaries are being paid by citizens. They are, by citizens. They, are, they are known to be aides in emergency and life-saving circumstances, both locally and globally. Citizens of this country who pay them deserve service, and under no circumstances should employees of the taxpayers or servants referred to as a public servants attempt to blackmail citizens by threatening to place their lives at risk. Being a nurse is a very noble profession. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is in the raw. So there's no editing and um, there's no correction. I have to read back if it's anything and there's a little delay at times. With enormous dignity and respectability, if there is a grievance or a request, they cannot start from what should be the last measure, but must obey public service protocols and rules. I'm in agreement with President Dr. Irfan Ali. The government of Guyana took over a broken economy with no reserves in the treasury and set up a budget to reduce the cost of living, which in my view is more than collecting colored printed paper called money. I want to read that again. I'm in agreement with President Dr. Irfan Ali. The government of Guyana took over a broken economy, and I will add, nastily broken economy, with no reserves in the treasury. As we know, commentary, most of it was stolen and or, 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 or clandestinely spent out for their friends and their families in contracts and other giveaways. Back to the article. To set up a budget to... Res to to reduce the cost of living, yes, I want to make a commentary that cost of living reduction is more important, ladies and gentlemen, to get in the 5% or a 10% increase. Believe you me. And if you study what Dr. Irfan Ali and his government are doing by eliminating the VAT on water and electricity, which are vital, you get more money there. By raising the pensions to old people, more money circulating. And much, much more will come into the future. You have to have some patience. Money has to come from somewhere. People who know business know that you can't eat all the money out. You can't drink all the money out, or you will eat out the capital and destroy your business, and destroy your life, and end insolvency or total bankruptcy. So, this, to reduce the cost of living, which in my view is more than just collecting printed paper called money. Sometimes we get carried away because we, we're drawing so much more money. But then the cost of living of everything goes up. So the president, you have to have faith in him. You've hired him to do a job and he has to do that job. And first of all, he's trying to drop the cost of living. Dropping the cost of living as they are doing by removing vat and power, water, raw food, ingredients, educational items, and providing free electricity and water to pensioners, whether or not they have, they have worked, that's the pensioners, old age pensioners, whether or not they have worked, along with so many other in, in, initiatives introduced through the budget, are all intended to put more money into the pockets of citizens. Unfortunately, the people of Guyana like to see a lot of printed colored paper in their pockets which comes from increases, but in fact, this sends up the cost of living because the cost of every item goes up with an increase in colored printing, printed paper called money. Cost of living goes up. You get some more, an increase, the cost of living goes up. Everything increases because the people got to get back their money. So learn to trust uh, vision and words and listen carefully to what I'm saying. Generally, nurses, um, supervisors in the hospitals and the public service have some patience. You're getting by far more than you, you, you used to get in the previous government. Do not take chances with your future, your life, and also your country. Number four, there is certainly political interference with nurses. This is my opinion. As there are in as there are in so many other parts of the country to try to break the government, not realizing that they 
are only making the government stronger and better. The president said that while he is trying to reduce the cost of living in time, the relevant increases will be provided, which will be more useful with that. So he will give increases, but you gotta let him do some things. Ladies and gentlemen, just over a month these people are in power. And look at the amount of things that have been done by a certain element called evil eyes. Always trying to cause havoc, mayhem, destruction, forgetting his age. If you really calculate his age and knowing how long he will live, he's sending out evil. And obviously when you send evil, evil is what will visit you. Number five. Back to the article. Some nurses are threatening the lives of certain group of people because of their culture and race and commentary. That is disturbing. That is sad. There's, that is sad. In the same way, other people could do other things to threaten lives and affect people with things they provide or services they provide. This is not good. Don't think that way, please. I've seen it, I've read about it, social media and, and otherwise. We need each other. We are together one people. We must not think of trying to hurt or inconvenience or embarrass or humiliate anybody. This is not good. The kind of behavior and manipulation by the political director of the evil eyes is only causing more ethnic tension and discord within the nation. The evil eyes director is only putting himself in a position as a marked political operative who fosters animosity among the citizens of the country in order of fostering hate, pushing hate amongst our people. With this in mind, I ask, does he really believe he can win an election in the future this way? So he wants to be president. He knows, obviously, by doing these things, it's like, um, well, you know, we got a saying, when cow going to slaughter a house, them are, I'll use a better word, they poo anywhere they want. But we use the Bradar, Guyanese, uh, parlance, language, the word starting with S. When cow going to slaughter a house, in the key way, S, right? So this is technically what this man is doing. He knows he can never, ever win another election. They, 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 they most likely, because of what he's doing, instead of winning hearts and mind, is, is chasing people away who could help them to win an election into the future. So come another hundred years, I don't see how he could ever hope to win an election. Bad marketing, poor marketing, poor advisors, desperatism. Back to the article. Nurses protesting and staying away from their jobs have already been compensated for the remainder of the month. That's last month. And if this is the case, it's my hope that the Ministry of Finance would extract the days or the periods they did not work. No work, no pay. I believe in that. No work, no pay. Unless you are sick, you had a problem, then the system has to be set to take care of you as people, as Guyanese. Nurses my advice to the government at this time is that while we are appealing to the good nature of the nurses, people that we love, people that we respect, ladies and gentlemen, my commentary, people that have always been kind to us and we have always been kind to them, and people who have taken an oath to serve the nation, you know, that's an addition to the points I have. The good nature of the nurses, the servants of the people, the caregivers of the citizens of the country, perhaps the new government should think of reading a page from the book of late President Lyndon Forbes Sampson Burnham. I remember when there were no teachers available, or maybe few teachers available, he brought teachers from Sri Lanka to support the education system. I applaud him for that then, and it is something that I still applaud him for now. Perhaps this government should consider taking, a, taking trained nurses from Haiti, Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan under a serious contract for 10 years, after which they will be eligible for citizenship in a modern, dynamic, growing and more prosperous economy. I envision that Guyana will be in that time, which is about 10 years time. We're going to be far, far. You surely might not be here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm 66 years of age or 65 plus. First of April, I become 66. So to end the letter, ladies and gentlemen, my last paragraph. At this juncture, I would like to conclude by advising citizens to use their grey matter or their brains to not allow themselves to become the puppets of dark political powers that are bent on exploiting healthy, easy and trusting people so as to fulfill their evil agendas. These politicians do evil and put others to shame while branding the others 
like our nurses, as unfit for promotion and as a scholarship for self-development. Obviously, uh, sincerely, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, that's me, ladies and gentlemen. But bear in mind, of course, dear friends and families, that when you are a negative employee, when you're encouraging wrong and you follow other people and you do wrong, there is a record being kept, there is a dossier, there is a file and a record of behavior, cooperativism, and, and, and which shows whether you have leadership characteristic or you're a negativistic person. And obviously, it will prevent people from getting increases in salary, promotions, promotional opportunity, courses, and so forth. My advice to you is not to follow any clandestine persons that may have evil eyes within them. And if they're flying, above the clouds, taking the warm stream deep into the heavens and observing the situations on earth like the eagle, but then the eagle have beautiful eyes. But some people want to think that they are like the eagle and in reality they have evil eyes, deceptive, evil, wicked, deceitful personalities, envious and jealousful because they cannot win an election and they will do anything to break their country and to bring shame and decadence into the beautiful nation we call Guyana. Afro-Guyanese, Indo-Guyanese, Chino-Guyanese, indigenous, uh, mixed races, all the, the, the European, the whites, we are all one human family under God. We must love our country. We must care our country. We must protect each other. We must Watch out for each other. We must never allow evil eyes personality to try to cause deception, hate, and degradation in our land. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, here in the raw. RK's Guy in a free media saying thank you. And farewell, friends.